Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I did do a video in the chatterbox for it. It was originally for you guys and I was getting her dress and I got a little off subject and some stuff I just don't want to put mainstream. So I, um, I just took it from, you know, out of this catalog. So if you want to see that video, you can pop over and see it. But this is London and London is also the, the prototype Aspen by Claire Teller. She was actually painted though by Sylvia from Sylvia, um, creations. And, um, so when I saw her, I, I picked, I snagged her and I'll just say, it, um, what I was saying in the other video is that it's just amazing to me how different her and my Aspen look even in person, even with size. And I, I am assuming that they are on the same body and everything, but I know that she, I think she filled hers out a little bit more. And I was saying, telling them really with Reborns, that's one of the beauty of uh, beauties about Reborns that I love. Um, and probably, I don't know how the sculptors always feel about this, but you can change the way the baby looks so much to where even though it can be 500 kits out of that same, you know, 500 dolls out of that same sculpt, they turn in so many different variations, which is one of the reasons why I find it so hard that when people say, you know, with a billion people, a trillion people in the world that they have to sculpt the same faces as these very few ladies in the community sculpting. Like you, you, you gotta have every baby looking like twin B. Why? It is so many more faces and stuff and so many ways to tweak it and do it different ways. Well, I shouldn't say tweak it cause that, that's kind of what some people are actually doing. But, um, but the sculpt, when the painting, I'm not gonna get into the sculpting cause I don't sculpt, but the painting, it, you can change the way the baby look. Like for me, I always say London is more serene. And then my Aspen is in person. He's, he looks like he's about to wake up. Like he's, he's like starting to, he like squinching his little eyes a little bit tighter. And he's like about to wake up like, eh, don't wake me up type thing. And if you put his hands up, it looked like you, you kind of scared him a little bit. So it's really, really cool. And I, I love that about them and that's why I really really wanted to have multiple versions of this kit because I feel like it gives me so much room to do so much more I'm going to paint a couple versions of this kit and you know at one point I said you know I'm not gonna pa keep painting a lot of the same kits because I don't want to end up painting somebody baby like the other person baby or whatever but what I realized is that because if you change the way if you don't paint the same way all the time it really don't matter because you can make them look so so different so when I get to a point where I start to feel like okay now this one kind of look like the last one then I know it's time to stop so I'm gonna paint a few of the Aspens um, just because I just really want to see what they look like I'm also gonna paint a couple Abbeys as well um, maybe not as many of Aspen, I mean Abby as Aspen, and only because I'm more of a sleeper fan, but I really like the little smirk that Abby has, so I definitely want to, um, paint me one of those, and she actually looked like, um, she looks like my little sister, actually, um, in my opinion, when she was a baby, and so I, the, the Abby, so I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to try to get me one to paint for my collection. I don't know that she should be wearing these white socks, but I didn't really concentrate on what to else to get put her on. I do have some Winnie the Pooh socks. I could have probably tried to put her on. But yeah, she just, these babies are so nice. Like They're both 19 inches, but for whatever reason, London looks like she's more 20 inch than um, Aspen. Like... They look so night and day. It's so funny. Um, but, you know, with color, like, say, for instance, this is what I'm thinking is going on. And this is just me thinking out loud. 
um, when you think about when you put on a black dress, it defines your curves. It makes you look smaller. Then when you put on like a white dress, it makes you look wider and you know, it's, it's more out there. So with her being lighter and softer, when I say softer, meaning she doesn't have, she's, she's modeled and have details, but she doesn't have as many colors in her as Aspen. So it makes her look bigger, but I, I don't know. It's just so weird, but I love it. I love it. Um, so when I make my girls or the next, well, maybe when I make the next boy, I'll make them big, look bigger like this one. So I plan to paint a biracial one um, for myself in my personal collection. And I also plan to paint other versions, but I know for sure I want a biracial one in my collection. Um, London was painted to be a biracial baby. She, she is what her skin tone does fit a biracial baby even though to many in the community they may think that she's like more um caucasian but when you think about it um despite the fact that everybody wants really really dark skinned babies a lot of times in the community um most african american babies are born so light um and then they they begin to get their color over time that if a baby is mixed with anything other than black, um, you can imagine at birth, they're even lighter. So, which means they look practically almost like they're Caucasian, but there's a difference in the actual skin tone. If you've, it's, it's, it's different. I don't know how to explain it, but it's different. And I think that Sylvia captured that difference in the baby pretty decent I I do I you know and I told her that personally that I thought that she did good with her coloring and I meant that um I just I just I love looking at other artists work and especially the ones that really take their time and really um enjoy what they do because I just it just it just shows in their work and it's just amazing and I I am so grateful for um, the sculptors like Claire Teller and um, even Bonnie Brown. Um, Natalie Blick is kind of starting to make some of her babies a little bit similar, but even Natalie Blick gives us something new each time, pretty much. Like she has started to kind of share limbs a little bit, but for the most part, you her her babies kind of. They, you know they are related, right? But they have their own look. I like that. Um, some sculpts just look the same over and over and over and over again. It gets boring for me. So um, I appreciate those sculptors even more. I appreciate all the sculptors, but I appreciate the sculptors even more that gives us something different. And I love that Claire Teller, out of her whole catalog, Every single one of her babies look different. There are two babies that I felt like kind of um, favored a lot, but I didn't see those babies in person. And that was the Courtney face and the Zoe face. I felt like they kind of favored a lot, but not where they were the same sculpt. So I just, I, I really can appreciate those sculptors like that like you just go through and when you look at like Bonnie Brown she has like maybe like was it Ellie Ellie that kind of looked like um Saskia a little bit and Saskia feet and legs or something looked like looked a lot Saskia feet looked like a smaller version of the lamb feet they look like they're almost exactly the same but in different size but other than that like her her faces look different like you know fairly different so it's it's pretty cool I just like when we get something different 
Um, I do have to say that Laura Tudor Ross is starting to switch it up for us. A lot of her babies used to look, start to look, was starting to look a lot alike. But lately, since she's been doing a lot of portraits, the babies have been like having their own faces and stuff like that. And so it's just really cool. Um, the, the, the hobby is, is so much more for me now than I ever would expect it. I never thought myself to be a person that would be so much into the art part of it. To be honest, I didn't come into this hobby for the art part. I came in because I love dolls and I love realistic dolls. So that part sucked me in. So I love dolls, but the realism made me feel like it was okay to pay what these dolls cost. That's what justified my reasoning for spending so much on them. But then when I got into it and started realizing, I don't like this, I don't like that. I realized that it was not about the painting anymore for me. It was about the sculpting first. And I feel like it doesn't matter how great you paint. If the sculpting sucks, that baby will never live up to the full potential of one that has that is very, very well sculpted. And I personally like have learned that I can love a baby that's not perfect please sculpt it and stuff like that because everybody are on different levels and I can appreciate their 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 effort, their work because I can't sculpt and I know that it has to be hard, especially when you're dealing with full bodies um, and probably even so with the, um, the vinyls because you gotta kinda make sure it's proportioned and all that and stuff. So either way it go, it's hard. I think it's hard, so I appreciate that that's not what I'm saying, but it does really make a big difference when it's a really, really nice sculpted baby. Um, I have painted babies over time, and you know, there has been sculpts that I didn't particularly care for as much as others. Um, some that I wouldn't have necessarily wanted in my collection, and you know, it doesn't matter how well I paint them they don't seem to get the love and the attention as other sculpts and partially because of course the community is really on pop a lot of people are only into what's popular and in high demand um sometime and then but two i think even when something is not popular in high demand if it's really nicely sculpted and someone paints it nice it'll start to stand out so but that's one of the things that i think is the deeply rooted issue with buyer's remorse and you know collectors being upset with artists when they get their babies because they will pick a particular sculpt and they will pick the perfect artist and think that the artist is so great that they're going to make that sculpt look like nothing ever before and where their paint job might be excellent but if the sculpt is not all that you can't it, it's, it's not going to give you that same effect and then the collector get frustrated because now they have this this baby here that I'm, I'm just gonna say this and y'all just y'all can unfollow me if y'all want to because I know that's what y'all do when y'all get mad or dislike me but you have this ugly well painted sculpt <laughs> here and it's like I don't care if it has micro rooted um miniature rooted you know, Meninsko rooted, Makulukalaka rooted hair and paint job that dripped from human blood on it, it's still going to be the same ugly sculpt. Like, so people will only be like, oh, that's a nice detail or that's a nice skin tone and all that. And then collectors, because some collectors thirst for that tension and they live for the likes and for acceptance and validation from the community it becomes frustrating and they get so upset and you know and they don't realize some of them don't even realize and they're like why don't they like my baby like they like so and so baby or they think if they have a popular artist paint this baby it's gonna give them the attention that they want but you pick the wrong sculpt like you can't, you can't expect, uh, you know, a Skeletor looking sculpt 
to look as good as a very well healthy looking baby sculpted like it's it's just it's like when i used to go get my hair done from my um my mom's godbrother rest in peace he was he was a hairstylist and he was bad to the bone. He did hair shows and all this stuff. He'd be like, y'all come in here with this two inches of hair and talk about made me look like Janie Jackson. Like, girl, you ain't even got enough hair to even wrap around a roller and you talking about you want to look like Janie Jackson. Ma'am, you're not. Or you come in here looking a hot mess and you don't got no features like this person and you like, make my face up like so and so and so. No, that's not going to be the look for you. Like, so it starts, the foundation starts with sculpting. The sculpting is the most important thing. And a lot of artists forget that. You are, you are only as good as your canvas. That's my, that's my thought, thought process. I will never feel like I am more, I mean more than the sculptor. Okay. I mean, I, I will feel like I am as important but I will never feel like I am more than a sculptor. I don't even know why I got on all this and why we why we even went there but I'm just saying oh my gosh this might need to go in the chat about too because it's just too much but seriously like I see like for instance if you know this is my other thing when you have like people that paint sculpt pour all this and stuff they charge all this money but they're doing all the work. So when I get a baby and I'm just painting it, I don't feel like I need to make as much as they make because I'm just the painter and the rooter. Like, I don't know. And I'm not just saying just like minimizing, but you get what I'm saying. But anyway, all I'm saying, the, the, the moral of the story is, is that I feel like sculpting matters. And the other thing that the key piece is, is that we pick things that are familiar to us and maybe things that we like. And again, my sculpting style that I prefer may not be yours. So where I may be feeling high on a cloud and fit, trying to figure out why they don't like my sculpt, why they don't like the baby that I picked out, maybe it's because they think it's ugly in their head and I'm thinking it's all that. So let's not get that twisted. I'm not saying that one sculptor is better than the other. I think that we all have our sculptors that we like and that we love and that is okay. I feel like we're going to gravitate towards what we feel we like. And until we start choosing babies that we actually really like, that we like and not what the people like, we will constantly continue to feel unfulfilled and just never content. And even though I'm very strong-minded and even though I'm still standing here telling you guys this, I can even still, even though, <laughs> even though, <laughs> I still um, have to admit that I have been one of those people that have been like, uh, you know, picking a, a sculpt that everybody wants. I did that with the Benjamin kid. I, I, I liked it. I wasn't like totally in love with it, you know. Um, right off, but you know, I saw the hype, so I was like, oh, I got hyped up too. Same thing with Delia. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so in love with this kid. I can't wait to get it. I ordered two, so one right off. Soon as she came, I was like, eh, that's a no. This is a no. This is absolutely a no. And then, um, then I said, okay, I like this part of it. I like that part of it. So I started, you know, mix matching the kit to get what I liked so that I can enjoy painting it because otherwise I can't I, I wouldn't have been able to paint the Delia as a whole baby it just wasn't gonna work out for me so I had to take the cute little face put it separate I use the hands I don't necessarily love the hands on the Delia but I wanted the full arms for the twin B and since the twin the uh Delia and the twin B legs are almost identical that it it was a just it just made sense to switch it out um i you know with the the uh benjamins i've sold every one of them except for the last one and i don't even know why i'm holding on to that one to be honest at some point i'm going to put in my probably going to end up selling it without painting it but i keep telling myself i should keep at least one so i'm not going to make any more 
rash decisions on that sculpt just yet. I do like other people versions of it and like seeing it but I just don't know that it's one for my collection. Um, you know there's just been different ones like I love Sage Asleep because I always wanted the Sage um, sleeping so I love that one but I've already had a Sage Awake and I just felt like that's just not the sculpt for me. Um, but I love seeing it. Like, I love seeing it. And the other day I was watching a channel and the lady was so excited about it. It made me want to paint it. And I was like, oh, I should go and get one and paint it. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, nope, because I'm not going to keep it. I know I'm not going to keep it. And I got to, you know, stop doing that. Stop, you know, but I'm telling you. YouTube, social media will have you broke because I'm telling you, our sis in the community be making us want these babies for real. Like, it be their baby. It be their babies that we want. Like, just give them, let me just reach to the screen and take her. Give me Puka Luka here. You know, type thing. But, and that's okay too because I have found some really great babies because I've seen other people with that scope and I actually loved it on their screen. And I was like, I got to see if I like this baby. And I brought it. You know, Memphis was a kit that I seen um, in a Caucasian version. And I was just like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that baby is beautiful. I was like, but I don't usually like this sculpture's work. So I was like, ah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But maybe I'll get it and it'll be different. And then I was like, so I ordered it quietly. And I've had I had that kit here for a while, and I was and then when I got it, I was like, oh, I like this, but you know, and so that's just you know that's just how you know it's like there's no black and white in this hobby. Like there's there's so many gray areas. So this has been a long video, guys. I love chatting about the hobby itself. I love talking, you know, without a filter. I love talking uncensored. Unfortunately, this community cannot handle raw emotions a lot of times. It's always some type of backlash. Oh, she was trash and so and so. Oh, she talks about this person, but she don't talk about that person and da 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 and all this and stuff. But I just like having those kind of conversations. Um real conversations. Like I mean, I can't be the only person. Like, seriously, I just can't. I can't be the only person. Um, there there has been times where, you know, when when I first got London, I was like, oh, I'm going to just sell my Aspen. I'm going to just keep this one because she looks so different from mine. But then I was like, you know, over days I was like, no, I love the uniqueness of the two. And I, I just want to really... I just had to keep them both. So when I think about selling babies and stuff like that for my personal collection, I don't really think of London as a one to be sold anymore. Um, or Aspen, because it went from me wanting to sell, thinking I'm, I might sell Aspen to I would sell London. But no. And also, I also want to kind of have my collection of different artists. Because I'm going to get old. I'm going to still be twerking with my little half broke hip, but, um, baby, hand me that cane over there. Um, but no, I want to be able to look around and be like, I remember when I bought from that artist in 1922, her name was Sylvia Alavaluska and I bought from pickles and sweet pea from, <laughs> from Asha land, you know, or you know, or Jamis and Patricia and, you know, Clara Taylor and, you know, all these people. I want to be able to have a diverse, very mixed collection. This baby came from Spain. This baby came from Brazil. This baby came. Now, let me shut up before I be the name the same country twice because, you know, I don't be knowing what I be talking about. But anyway, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go, like I said, I try, I'm trying to go ahead and make it on the 30 minutes, honey, since I done went this far, I'm just kidding. <sighs> so that is it. That's all I got to say. I got a lot to do today. I gotta get going and stop playing around. Um, I will 
definitely let you guys know which babies are leaving because I think my collection is about to get real up in this place because I am changing once again. 